Welcome to Hulya's Turkish Kitchen. Nawas pudding or ashure is arguably the world's oldest dessert and retains important spiritual significance across Turkey and elsewhere. According to tradition, it was prepared as a celebration dish after surviving the Great Flood, concocted by combining whatever ingredients were still left on the ark. The result was a mildly sweet, rich and savory dish with a touch of fruit and is delicious eaten hot or cold. Today is cooked in homes during the month of Muharram and distributed to friends and family to symbolize the spread of love and abundance. Join me in making this delicious dish today. Here's a list of the ingredients I've used, substituting sugar with pureed dates. You can vary what you use, but generally you should use at least seven different ingredients up to a maximum of 12. Let's get started. Start by soaking 300 grams of pitted dates in 450 ml of hot milk. Make sure they are submerged into the milk and cover and leave to soak. In the meantime, take 280 grams each of pre-soaked dried haricot beans and chicken peas and place in a large pan. Pour in two liters of boiling water and cook on medium heat for one hour, stirring from time to time. In another pan, place 150 grams of pre-soaked pearl barley. Pour in two liters of boiling water and simmer for one hour. Replace the discolored water every 15 minutes with fresh boiling water. The beans, chickpeas and pearl barley must be pre-soaked for at least eight hours or overnight. Regularly remove the foam which accumulates on the surface of the beans and chickpeas pan. Traditionally, the presence of chickpeas and beans represents the importance of balance. Other options can be used such as lentils and rice, but these are the most popular. Keep stirring from time to time and keep the heat on medium to low. In the meantime, prepare the other ingredients. Place 200 grams of raisins into a medium-sized bowl. Slice 280 grams of dried apricots into the same bowl. Pour boiling water to cover. Give the dried fruit a quick mix, then set aside for later. Take 100 grams of almonds. This will be used to decorate the dish at the end. Again, soak in boiling water enough to cover. Do the same with 200 grams of cashews. Alternatives which can be used are fresh fruits such as apple or pear, pomegranate, nuts and orange or lemon peel. After an hour of cooking, the beans and chickpeas can be drained and transferred to a larger pan, big enough to take all the ingredients. Pour in 2 litres of boiling water and return to the stove. Add the pearl barley with its water. This should be clear as we've been changing it regularly. Continue cooking on low to medium heat for 30 minutes, stirring regularly. In the meantime, blend the milk and dates which we put aside earlier. The dates will give the dish its sweetness and is used to substitute sugar for a healthier option. Once blended, cover and put aside for later. After 30 minutes of cooking, check on the beans and chickpeas. They should have softened by now but still have a bite to them. Add the soaked fruit to the pan with its water and the soaked cashews. After adding the fruit and nuts, continue cooking for a further 20 minutes, stirring regularly. After 20 minutes, add the milk and date mixture. Mix thoroughly. Add one tablespoon of mixed spice. Alternatives such as cinnamon, cloves and nutmeg can also be used. Add a generous drop of vanilla essence or one packet of vanilla powder. This can be substituted with a drop of rose water if you prefer. Mix two tablespoons of corn flour with 300 ml of cold water. Use a whisk to get rid of any lumps. Then add a few spoonfuls of the hot water from the pan to climatize the corn flour before adding it.
Once added, stir continuously on low heat for a further 20 minutes. The sauce will gradually begin to thicken. After 20 minutes, add eight sliced figs to the pan. Gently mix for a few more minutes, then take off the heat. The total cooking time for this dish was two hours and 15 minutes, but this may vary. The dish is basically ready when the beans and chickpeas are cooked through. Time to prepare the decoration to go on top. Remove the skins off the almonds, which should still be soaking in the water. The skins should easily slide off. Extra fruit and nuts as decoration is optional and you can use whichever you prefer. Once all the skins have been removed from the almonds, you can break them into smaller pieces. I will be using the almonds, sliced apricots and figs for my topping. This quantity serves approximately 12 people. You can serve this dish hot or cold. When served hot, ashere has the consistency of porridge and when served cold, it resembles a custard-like texture and is very refreshing. It can also be frozen and defrosted when needed. Afiat olsun, enjoy! If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe for more delicious recipes from Hulya's Turkish Kitchen. Links to more of my videos can be found at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.